busted through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on, and they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That is caught by Carmichael. Touchdown, 49ers! Harold Carmichael, 75 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Bullet good on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. He finds Bolden, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They'll look to throw now on first down, and down he goes. The 49ers get there. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And Bolden brings it in, complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And now the throw here is incomplete, and with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the 31, as they line up second and 10. Looking to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. That was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 
They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'll drop the throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw here. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. That's the Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor doing what he does best. Tucker's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he takes this up to the 30 yard line before being corralled. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He'll look to throw. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, 49ers. C.D. Lamb, 60 yards. And the Niners have regained the lead. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that will make this a four-point game. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. A short kick taken at the 18. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Leon Sandcastle. And the 49ers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he will take it out to the 25-yard line. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. 
It's caught left side, Bolden. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 23 yards to pick up there. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now back to throw. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And it's caught. Touchdown. Gus Edwards. He scored on the ground and through the air. And his guys have once again taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got Gronkowski yet again. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head to halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. He'll drop to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. C.D. Lamb in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Bullet good on the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. back out there at the line ready for their next drive and only six seconds on the clock so time likely for just one play going deep here for Allen and now this is intercepted my goodness and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half that's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A 
It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Goblet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 33. They'll look to throw again. He finds his target, Allen. Touchdown! Keenan Allen, 33 yards as they have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Over the middle, he's got Harold Carmichael. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They'll look to throw here on first down. Buying time to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Back to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten on the handoff. Edwards. And a powerful stiff arm. It frees him. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Gus Edwards with his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners have retaken a third quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that will make this a four point game. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? And maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. 
Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And this drop is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, they go to Edwards. Shoves him away. And he's got room. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 108 yards on the ground so far for Edwards. It's a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now a run with Edwards. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Gus Edwards taking it in from seven yards away. And now they have taken a fourth quarter lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for the Niners. 56 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They're going to zoom and pass that number there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They're going to look to throw. Gets this one to use check. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Back to throw here. Very quickly here, and that's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And now we've got a third and three. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes is quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Here's Edwards. 
It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll look to throw. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Now here's Whistles and another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. For the lead, here's starting goal. Back to throw. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. C.D. Lamb from three yards out. And the 49ers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Well, look good on the extra point, and that will make this a four point game. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Give him 30 yards there. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth, and there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. Now this throw caught left side, and it'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. On second down, it's Edwards. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Here's second and goal, operating from the 8-yard line. He'll look to throw. This is caught. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and did not have their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the... And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out.